Hi friends, in this video, let us discuss solar radiation on an inclined plane surface. So actually the solar radiation incident on an inclined surface normally consists of three things. One is beam radiation, diffuse radiation and the third one is radiation reflected from ground and surroundings as this is not the horizontal plane, this is the inclined plane. So definitely it can catch some of the reflections from the ground and also surroundings. So the total radiation on a surface of arbitrary orientation may be evaluated as capital IT is equal to IB plus RB plus ID RD plus IB plus ID into RD RR. That means here IB means the solar energy by or the solar energy because of beam radiation and ID is the solar energy because of diffuse radiation and radiation reflected from ground definitely be because of beam radiation and diffuse radiation. So the solar energy because of or the solar radiation because the reflection of ground reflection from ground and surroundings has been considered as sum of beam and the diff diffused radiations. So finally the RB are the R are the tilt factors of the beam radiation, diffused radiation and reflected radiation. So let us see how we can define RB rd and rr and some other discussions this is the tilt factor for beam radiation rb so it's defined as the ratio of flux of beam radiation incident on an inclined surface ib bar to that on a horizontal surface ib so this is the ratio of the flux of beam radiation incident on an inclined surface to that of the horizontal surface. So what is this part? This part is IB bar IB dash is equal to IBN cos theta i and IB equal to IBN cos theta z. So what is IBN? IBN is the beam radiation on a surface normal to the direction of sun rays. So this is the this is called IBN. So, what is cos theta i? Theta is the angle of incidence. Theta z is the zenith angle. Okay. So, we now we can define Rb is equal to ratio of Ib dash to Ib, which is equal to cos theta i by cos theta z. So, this is the definition of Rb. But for a tilted surface facing south gamma equal to 0 degree the expression of rb may be written as rb is equal to sin delta sin phi minus beta plus cos delta cos omega cos phi minus beta whole divided by sin delta sin phi plus cos delta cos omega cos phi this comes with the angle of incident formula so in angle of incidence formula if we substitute gamma equal to 0 degree, we can get the numerator and, for, and for, we can get the same thing for denominator also. What is the denominator? Denominator is cos theta z. This is the special case in incident angle. So, for, theta, for cos theta z also, we can get the formula that will be like this only. So, this is the total Rb, okay, the tilt angle for beam radiation. Now let us see the tilt angle for I mean the tilt factor for diffuse radiation Rd. So it is defined as the ratio of flux of diffuse radiation falling on incident surface to that of to that on the horizontal surface. So the value of this tilt factor depends upon the distribution of diffuse radiation over the sky and on the portion of sky dome seen by the tilt surface. So these are the two factors on which the tilt factor depends on. 
assume that the sky is an isotropic source of diffuse radiation okay we have for a tilt surface with slope beta here we have considered the slope beta so the rd the tilt factor for diffuse radiation will be rd is equal to 1 plus cos beta whole divided by 2 let us see the tilt factor for reflected radiation rr the reflected component comes mainly from the ground and surrounding objects okay since 1 plus cos beta by 2 is the radiation shape factor for tilt surface with respect to the sky it follows that 1 minus cos beta by 2 is the radiation is the radiation shape factor for the surface with respect to the surrounding ground so assume that the reflection of the beam and diffuse radiation fall on the ground is diffuse and isotropic and reflectivity is low the tilt factor for reflected radiation may be written as rr is equal to rho of 1 minus cos beta by 2 okay this is the formula for rr and let us see some uh, special cases so for a vertical surface what exactly happens obviously for vertical surface beta equal to 90 degree so the angle of inclination beta equal to 90 degree so finally rr will be 0.5 r sorry rd will be 0.5 and rr will be 0.5 rho that means what does it mean so half of the diffuse and half of the total reflected radiation is received by the vertical surface okay that is the that is the case of this so here there is no beam radiation and only diffuse radiation is there and the remaining half will be the reflected radiation that too by the diffuse radiation so for horizontal plane what happened for horizontal plane rd equal to 1 and rr is equal to 1 so what happens so maximum diffuse radiation is received by the horizontal plane and no ground reflection of the radiation is received by the horizontal plane so these are the two optimum and final cases one is the vertical surface and second one is the horizontal surface In the ratio of total solar energy incident on an inclined surface to that of the horizontal plane will be given by r dash that equal to capital i t by i b plus i d so here capital i t divided by capital i z that means so if we substitute capital i t is equal to i b r b i d r plus i d r d plus i b plus i d into r r then it the i t by i z will come like this 1 minus i d by i z into r b plus i d by i z into r d plus r r so this is the simple thing if we substitute capital id it will come up so what is the monthly average so hourly hourly value can be obtained by considering the representative day of the month for calculating the solar energy incident on the tilt surface so that will be just it will it will be represented as bar i t bar by i z bar equal to 1 minus i d bar by i z bar whole into r b bar plus i d bar by i z bar into r d bar plus r r bar where r b bar is equal to r b on represented representative day of the month and also r d bar equal to r d and r r bar equal to r r so what is daily total radiation so if we see on the same lines the ratio of daily total radiation on tilt surface to daily global radiation on horizontal surface may be written as capital H of T by capital G which is equal to 1 minus HD by HG into RP plus HD by HG into RD plus R. Okay, same thing with the solar energy only. This is 
solar radiation so this is the total radiation so this is the special case for south facing surface gamma equal to 0 degree so capital rb will be wst i mean omega st sin delta sin phi minus beta plus cos delta sin omega st cos phi minus beta whole divided by omega s sin sin delta sin phi plus cos delta sin omega s cos phi well omega st is the sunrise angle expressed in radians on tilt surface omega s is the sunrise angle r angle expressed in radians on horizontal surface that's the difference so rd capital rd equal to small rd that is equal to 1 plus cos beta by 2 and capital rr is equal to small r, rr that is equal to rho into 1 minus cos beta by 2 so these are the some of the special cases and coming to monthly average here also we can calculate the monthly average so the monthly average of the daily radiation falling on the client surface in its revised form is capital ht bar by hg bar is equal to 1 minus hd bar by hg bar whole into rb bar plus hd bar by hg bar into rd bar plus r bar okay it's very simple you can simply represent it by bars where rb bar equal to rb on representative day of the month also rd is equal to rd is equal to 1 plus cos beta by 2 that means rd bar equal to rd similarly capital rr bar equal to rr is equal to rho into 1 minus cos beta by 2 so that is the explanation so in this video we have seen the solar radiation on the inclined surface and we have also identified what is the total solar energy solar energy inclined i mean radiated on the inclined surface and also monthly average of daily radiation and monthly average of daily solar energy and all these things have been discussed yeah if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video so please share it if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and kindly press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any new video thank you thank you very much